sometimes you need to count how many uh, participants or how many objects you have um, in your data set. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Um, oftentimes you're going to want to do that when uh, doing any sort of statistics on um, participant uh, data so that you can know what your end size is or your sample size. So in this spreadsheet, I've already shown you in another video how to calculate this average. So you can click right up here in order to uh, figure out how to do an average. Um, but let's quickly uh, now show you how to do the sample size. So if you click, uh, type in equals, start typing count. So count, and what the one you want is going to be uh, dependent on the type of data you have. So you can use this uh, just straightforward count function, which as you can read here, is going to count the number of uh, cells in your range that have numbers. So I could use that if I was counting the age here, or I could do count A, which is going to count how many um, cells within my range are not blank. Um, so if I want to count the number of participants based on the sex uh, in this column here, that's what I would want to use. So now I'm going to highlight the count, or let's highlight the participant information for their sex and I'm going to hit enter and you'll see that we have 34 participants here and if you go down so we have 35 rows worth of data and we have a header row so that's correct. You can also let's say you want to count participants of a certain type so again we have males and females here so I can do another function um, a count if function so if you type equals count if and now it's going to ask you for um, some sort of criterion that's going to be needed in order to count the participants or count the, the cell of data. Um, so go ahead and click that or do the open parenthesis to start the formula. So again, it's asking for the range. So we'll highlight all the um, sex data here. And then we need to do a comma to tell, us, tell Excel we're going from the range to the criterion. And so let's do males first. So anytime you're typing in a word rather than a number um, that into a formula, you need to do quotations. Um, so open quotation, male, close quotation, and then end parenthesis to end the formula. And here you can see we have 20 males. Um, we can do the same thing for females. So again, this is um, N size. Sorry, let me just label these. Um, male n size and now let's do female n size all right so equals counts if highlight our range hit comma to get to get from range to criterion and now the criterion is going to be so open print or open quotation female close pro, uh, quotation and parenthesis to end the formula and hit enter. So in this set of data, we had 20 males and we had 14 females. All right, so that's how to do counting in Excel. You're gonna probably need to do that quite a bit. Um, so that's a very quick tutorial for that and I hope that helped.